person to have a reduction in, the, in their taxes so more money can stay in their pockets and that that money can then allow for that business to grow. Uh, if you need to buy equipment, it's going to give you a rapid depreciation opportunity on your equipment. Now, I don't want to get complicated with that. I just want to kind of give you an overview. You know, Barack Obama is facing a, a real challenge. Uh, and candidly, we are too. You know, this economy is a global economy now, and we have to face up to that. We have to learn that we're going to have to do more for less. But this is the time for you to take your dreams, your aspirations, and your desires to go into business for yourself. But what's the first thing you have to do if, if you have a dream? You got to wake up, don't you? <laughs> and then you need to stand up and you need to pursue those dreams with courage and confidence and bravado. In my book, I, I use the term actionaire. It's a term that I coined. Uh, it's a term that allows for us to think about not just stopping at the thinking point, but actually taking action. Every day when you wake up, you're given 86,400 seconds. That's 24 hours for those doing the math. But in every moment that you exist, you have to either use it or you will lose it. And the moment that you think of the moment, it's already gone. So that means you have to live your moments to its fullest extent. That's why I'm so proud of you for showing up today and this week. Because what you're doing is you are busy taking uh, the time out of all your other endeavors to come here and enjoy the moments and the experiences that's provided for you here at New Birth. Congratulations. Because that's the first step to success. Now we, my brother and I, have developed quite a family business. Uh, my daddy worked at the post office for 39 years. Uh, my mom, interestingly enough, the, the week I graduated from law school in the same week, my, gra my brother graduated from college, he went on to law school, and in that very week, my mother graduated from college. <laughs> Persistence. Fulfilling your dreams. She wanted to make sure that she finished college. We were on our way, we were launching. But it was, it's that tenacity and that gut attitude that she has that I think we observed in many ways. So we as parents have to look at it. I'm proud to say I'm the, I'm the father of four. Uh, and although we've made, quite a bit of money over the years. And like anybody in business, if they suggest that they kept it all and didn't lose it, they're not telling you the truth because when you're in business, you're gonna lose some. But it doesn't matter to me how you judge me except through one way. Don't judge me on the hundreds of millions of dollars I made, you judge me on how I'm raising my babies. And, and I'm proud to say that uh, all four of my children have finished law school. And uh, my two oldest ones, who by the way went to Morehouse and Spelman uh, here in Atlanta. And Bishop, as you know, Mike Jr. found New Birth while he was uh, at school, I, before I even knew of New Birth, and said to me a long time ago, Daddy, I found a place where I can go and worship. And I can believe in a mission, and, and he became a member here uh, quite a few years ago now. He is now the father of a six-year-old. His twin sister is the mother of a one who will be a year this month. Now get this, boy-girl twins, the girl had a boy and the boy had a girl, they're about four months apart, now I got boy-girl grandkids, it's just as if, you know, it's all deja vu, you know, it's starting all over again. The difference is I can spoil this one, these, you know. And I plan to, I really do. But those of us now, when we look at business and growth, uh, I think it's important for us to always contribute back once we have reached certain levels. In fact, we should always. My brother and I were both city councilmen in St. Louis. Uh, the 
the, right when I graduated from law school, I moved two blocks from the projects when all my friends were moving into the nice little suburbs. Uh, and I lived there for 10 years, and all of my kids were born two blocks from the projects. Back in those days, the, uh, the idea of a swimming pool was a fire plug. Uh, Y'all don't know anything about that, I know. But, but uh, you know, so, so but when you're in there fighting and you, you're dealing with the drug dealers and you're dealing with the criminals and you're dealing with pe good people in the neighborhoods trying to support their real estate and support their homes, you learn a lot. And I would also, I want to add, don't let the light skin fool you because I got a lot of street respect as a result of it too. <laughs> Well, you know, if we look at our, 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 what is it gonna take to really make changes? Obviously, setting examples. Uh, today, we're the largest African-American owner of hotels. We own 12 hotels now. And, and if, you, if you notice that, as I said in the video, everything has a Roberts in front of it. Roberts this and Roberts that. Uh, we own four full-power TV stations, a radio station, three city blocks in downtown St. Louis. Atlanta, you know, this is supposed to be the mecca of black community, and I'm not going to hit you too hard, but how many city blocks do we own in downtown Atlanta? In fact, I think I own the only full-power, a uh, full-service hotel in Atlanta today. So we may have good jobs, we in the mecca, but we need to step up our game and start to own some businesses and own some real estate and, and start to hold on. And this is a great time to buy. I mean, you know, the, the, uh, when some of us are unemployed and, 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 and times are, are tough, recognize that with the internet and opportunities, you can get out here and you can start making money. And you have to eliminate this thing called failure, the fear of failure. I spoke here three years ago and I talked about that. What would your life be like if you could eliminate the fear of failure was the question. Let's break that down, two words. First word, fear. What is fear? Fear is nothing but a mental construct. It is not of nature. It's not grass growing. It's not the wind blowing. If it's a mental construct, then you can eliminate it. You were not born with fear. You were born perfect. You allow that to enter into your psyche. Second word, failure. I say to you, there's no such thing as failure. You remember I mentioned earlier there's 86,400 seconds, right? right? All right. So every moment in your existence, you are experiencing something. Something. Now there are times when those experiences won't be as you would like. The outcome may not be as you would want. But was it an experience or was it a failure? I submit to you, you learn from it. It's nothing but an experience. All the negativity that exists are all experiences. So if we in our mind can eliminate the concept that we failed, which somehow presses us against the wall and recognize that, wait a minute, maybe the marriage wasn't as I would have liked for it to have been, but I did learn from it. Maybe the businesses that didn't quite make it or the job that I had uh, wasn't exactly, uh, the outcome wasn't as I wanted, but I did learn from it. So now we've just eliminated the fear of failure. 